Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So this is my grocery haul this week. Everything that you see here was $101 with tax. So let's get in the meal plan. All right, y'all, so this is my meal plan for October 22nd through the 28th. As y'all know, my budget is always $100. I actually spent $101 with tax, so not bad as far as budget goes, and that's because I was making a new recipe I'll talk about in a second. So no talkie before coffee, absolutely. Coffee Monday, and you got this. Need any inspiration I can get to get that week started. So we're actually having leftovers of gumbo. So gumbo is going to be on the Foodie Friday for this Friday for the True Blood series that I've been doing every Friday using that cookbook. And that gumbo, guys, the first time I've made gumbo, and we had leftovers on Monday, and I did a little tweaking to that recipe but it is really good so I was very pleased with it being my first time I was very intimidated but it came out good nonetheless so leftovers on Monday of that then on Tuesday we're having my copycat Olive Garden Alfredo with salad and garlic knots so you're gonna see in the grocery haul that I did buy these new garlic knots that y'all rave about all the time leftovers of that on Wednesday then yes guys I know I'm so terrible I had to bump the quesadillas again but I am definitely making them this week no exception because I've got to use that chicken because it's gonna go bad it's like the you know the John Soles kind that I always buy but the expirations like next week so I've got to use that chicken before it goes bad and then we always go out to eat on Friday nights last Friday I went and saw the Halloween movie it was bomb if y'all have not seen it Y'all have got to go see it. It was so, I said on my Insta story, if y'all follow me on Instagram, y'all know I'm a, a big But nerd. I talked about how classic horror it was to Halloween. They kept it so true to the original um, Halloween 1 and 2. I loved it. Like they had a modern twist on it, but it was so classic Halloween. And I think anybody will enjoy it. Most people that have seen it have talked about how much they love it. So I definitely recommend if you have not went and seen it yet in perfect time for the holiday season to go and watch it because it's classic Halloween horror. So loved it. Then for the weekend, we're going to have leftovers of the quesadillas on Saturday flannels boots pumpkin spice and bonfires it's just now getting cool here like in the 50s and we are loving it it feels like arctic to us with the 50s so we are loving that cooler weather turkey meatball subs i've made that before on foodie friday and so fun because we're supposed to be going to a birthday party around noon on sunday so to remind myself so like i said gumbo is coming this friday guys it is a recipe that takes a long time, so that's why I made it on Sunday rather than after work. There's no way. It takes hours to make um, a gumbo, a true gumbo, so look for that. The ingredients aren't bad as far as it being complex. It just takes a lot of time. And then I did want to mention, guys, if you did not watch my cookbook video, I will leave it up above with all the details and the Google Doc with all the details with it. But myself, Kiara from Fifty Shades of Mom and Vanessa, Lemonade Mom, we have made a cookbook, if you did not know. And I just wanted to mention that pre-orders are still available, and the pre-order includes all kinds of stuff that you will not get with the regular Amazon sales. So definitely check out that video up above and get your pre-order in. Thank you to all the ones that have already pre-ordered. We so appreciate you. And I know a lot of y'all are excited about that and we are excited for you. So make sure to do that and watch that video if you're interested in the cookbook that we have because there's so many awesome recipes from all three of us. I think y'all will really enjoy. So that is the meal plan this week. I'm gonna get into the grocery haul, but it's actually a voiceover because remember last week, we went to Paw Patrol live on Saturday and I picked up my groceries that morning and my boys were cray cray. So I had to do a voiceover because it was mega loud. So let's get into it. All right, y'all, so my staple Simply Lemonade, we get this every single week, the big one. I got some Silk Almond Milk for Waylon. It's the big one as well. I needed some whole milk for the Alfredo, and we'll eat this with cereal too, so I got a half gallon. I got some heavy whipping cream for the Alfredo sauce as well. That stuff is so good, guys. Homemaker Premium Orange Juice every single week, along with the 100% Cranberry Grape Juice to dilute for the boys' drink. Then I got some Flat Leaf Parsley, and that is for the gumbo. I got a bell pepper for the gumbo. All this vegetables is for the gumbo. Celery Organic, and then Organic Green Onions. And Organic pr Produce is like not much more expensive than regular guys. It's a crazy how close they are. Speaking of that, look at these strawberries. They are organic and I am loving how beautiful and plump and juicy these things look. I was so pleased that they picked these out for me. And then an English cucumber and this is the Walmart grocery pickup. I got some organic thyme and 
This is also way cheaper than dried. I did get some spring mix. This is the organic spring mix, and this is a huge package of it to go alongside our Olive Garden Copycat Alfredo this week. So I love getting that. Waylon is obsessed with these great value on the go tubes, and this is the strawberry and blueberry. He loves these, and these are $1.78 for eight. So that is way cheaper than the regular price. So I got two of the great value lunch packs. This is the pizzas, like the Lunchables. The Lunchables have now went to regular price since school started, so these are a dollar. I did get a salted caramel Noosa. This is bomb. If you've never tried it before, it tastes like dessert. Y'all have got to try it. It's so good. Got some andouille sausage for the gumbo. This was a substitution. This is the caramel blended Greek strain yogurt with almonds, and I wanted the lemon. Y'all know that's my jam, but they were out, so they subbed this, and we will see how I like it. I got two things of the Gordo's cheese dip for Trey. That's a staple every week. I got some frozen shrimp. That's to go with our Alfredo. I like to add that instead of it just plain, being plain sauce. Some Velveeta slices. That is for grilled cheese. Nothing beats grilled cheese with Velveeta. Like nothing tops it in my opinion. <laughs> then I got some Oscar Mayer natural turkey breast. It has all the good stuff in it. They claim this is the best deli meat to buy. So that's what I buy every single week. And this is the Applewood smoked. I got some provolone cheese, and this is for the meatball subs. This week, um, Trey's pulling me here. That's why the camera's looking all crazy. I'm like, what's going on when I'm going back to do my voiceover? But the provolone cheese, guys, is for the subs. Then the dice pears, that is also for Trey, 100% juice. Then I got two huge things of chicken broth. That is for the gumbo, and I'm using almost both of those two big sizes of chicken broth. Then I did get some more fruit punch, and this is for mix for me and the hubby. This is not for the kids. I know it's not good for us. I say this all the time, but we love that stuff. This is pure ground gumbo filet powder, which is just ground sassafras leaves. Me and the hubby were like, we've never made gumbo, and we live in southern Louisiana. And I'm like, what the heck is filet? And it's just sassafras leaves. If you did not know, I will be adding that to the gumbo. Organic marinara for the subs. Then I got this Welch's Natural Concord Grape that is for peanut butter and jelly for Trey and the boys, uh, Waylon. <laughs> um, this is one thing that's good for you too, and we love this stuff, so I buy it every time. Another thing that Waylon is so happy is his blueberry Little Debbie muffins are back. He does not like the Intamins. Then I got this French vanilla coffee. This is my jam. This is the only coffee that I buy in the little K-cups. It is so good, paired with all my good creamers that I'm always buying. Then over here, guys, this was a substitution. This is a 10 pound bag of leg quarters. So I just purchased a little like, you know, individual, not many um, leg quarters for the gumbo, but they were out. So they gave me a big thing. So I have leftovers for other dinners, which was a score because it was cheaper, obviously. So happy for that. And I didn't want to take it out because I hate chicken. It's so gross. <laughs> the three chick three chicken, three cheese garlic knots by market side. So many of y'all rave about these and they were out of my go-to breadsticks. So I'm going to give these a go. They did not have just the garlic ones. So I got the cheesy ones. So y'all let me know if these are good and you get eight in here and they weren't priced bad. And y'all say they're really good. A loaf of just regular French bread to go along with the gumbo. And that's just a buck for that big thing of French bread. That's a great price for that. And then I also got my Sara Lee butter bread, and this is the no high fructose corn syrup, all the good stuff, and we love this, and it is cheap price. These Zesty Ranch Veggie Straws by Great Value, guys, these are, I'm obsessed with these. These are so flipping good. I can eat like a whole bag in a day. It's a problem. The On the Border Tortilla Rounds, those are for Trey. The Great Value have been out of stock, so that's the ones I've been buying. And then the Organic Blue Corn Tortilla Chips I buy for myself to make my adult nachos, and I really like these. They're very crispy. All right, y'all, so that was my grocery haul this week. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoy these weekly grocery hauls. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're not with me already. I'd love to have you a part of the YouTube family. Y'all, make sure to stay tuned for Foodie Friday this week for that gumbo. You're not going to want to miss that one. Don't forget to check out the cookbook video. I'll have it linked in the iCards above. Thank y'all so much for watching. Y'all have an amazing Tuesday and an awesome rest of your week. And we'll see you guys in my next video. I will have a Dollar General video posting tomorrow. I know it's been a long time. No see but I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Have a good one. Bye.